all right so i started with creating the house first i created some basic shapes for wooden planks and before creating any other model i created the texture for the plank so for the stylized wood i had this texture from one of my previous projects but i wanted to create multiple variations so i used ai for that initially i created this collage just by rotating and pasting the same texture and then i used the leonardo ai for this so you can go to leonardo.ai and just launch the app and in here with your login you get 150 credits for one day and you can just click on ai image generation these are some of my previous images here the good thing about this is that you can just use this image to image prompt so i can just drag my collage image in here and now i can set the init strength here so for example if i set it high and just write the prompt click on generate and it gives you a variation of all these plank you can use different styles like this leonardo diffusion and you can use this image dimension to set the image so using those credits here you can see all of my generations so i created all these variations and similarly i created the variations for the blue plank so here you can see these are different models generated with different prompts so sometimes it gives you a very stylized result and sometimes it gives you a very realistic result so finally after combining these two textures together and with a little bit of paint over in krita i created this final texture so once the texture is generated i created a simple material in blender and applied to our planks and then it's all about just creating uvs and placing them at right position then i started creating the roof planks i used the deform modifier with bend option and i added some subdivisions to make it bend then i rotated it in place then i duplicated the planks and scaled them to create variations I used rip region tool to cut out the planks into separate pieces. and then i placed the uvs of different planks at different position to create a variation In the same way I created the rest of the roof
Then I started the base and for that I used a combination of planes and planks. So for the walls I used simple planes and for corners and other stuff I used planks. Once I finished the modeling, I started adding some imperfections to the model. Finally, I joined all the pieces together and created it a single mesh for the center of these windows, I applied a glue material. For the trees, I used the tree it software. It is a free program. For the leaves and bark texture, I again used the Leonardo AI. So I used this twig texture from textures.com. It is a real texture. And with the help of image prompt, in Leonardo AI, I created all these variations. Finally, I arranged the leaves in this way and painted over in Krita. Similarly, created this bark texture. Create gives you ton of options to create branches, leaves and mesh leaves. Once the tree is generated, you can create multiple variations by this randomize button. You can export the tree mesh as a FBX file. However, this FBX format is not directly compatible with Blender. So you can download this Autodesk FBX converter and convert this as a compatible FBX file for Blender. So finally, I created these eight trees, four big ones and four of these small ones and another one, this one, which is growing from the center of the house. Then I finally painted some more foliage like this grass, leaves, this vine and these flowers. I created basic shapes with planes for grass and for this grass I specially bent it to use it with the corners. For creating some bushes like this one I used the simple geometry node setup. I used distributed point on base node with instancing of this clump and just added these clumps aligning with the normal of the object. So in this way, I can just create multiple variations. And also, I can just create the shape.
then I placed some flower meshes for this one I created all these shapes manually by just creating some random planes and rotating and scaling at position okay so for creating low poly rock I used this rock generator it is available to download from Blender Studio it is a very simple setup and it gives you an option of this seed so by this you can create different shapes and I created a simple procedural material with noise texture so finally to create the shape you can just duplicate it and just apply this modifier and just create UVs and apply the material I also modeled these two small rock islands and this stair with simple low poly technique I just cut the corners and made some low poly style rock Alright, so I started creating the level in UE5 with this water shader. This is from Good Sky Water Shader. I grabbed it from one of the free for the month market sale. Then I imported all of my assets and started placing them in the level. Alright, so this is the final level. I inserted all the assets. I also inserted some of these distant mountains. I added some volumetric fog and a little bit of post-processing. Finally, I added a cine camera actor and created a simple animation. Alright, so this is how I created this uh, stylized environment using Blender and UE5. As always, the Blender file with all these assets is available to download. You can use them in any of your projects and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.